Happy birthday, America! It's the week of the 4th of July, and there were some fireworks on a national level. And yes, we're talking about Torrance alum Angela Park. But she wasn't the only one. Former South High standout and U.S. Olympian Shannon Box was in town for her annual soccer academy. Staying with soccer and South High, we all Salt Lake defender Jack Stewart gave the sports desk some time. And North head coach Gary Dubron brought the kids down to North for his hoop camp. Are you ready? The Sports Desk starts now. Aloha, I'm Vailele Salas. Former Torrance High golfing phenom Angela Park is a long cry from her days leading the Tartars to a state championship just one year ago. The LPGA rookie has had 15 career starts at the professional level and left the U.S. Open to be her best finish this year. Park was the leader through 36 holes and with 36 more to go, 26 on Sunday, the 18-year-old felt confident that this might be the tournament to notch her first win. Park would have to hold off on the celebratory apple cider, no champagne for the underage player, shooting a final round 70 for a second place finish. As deep as 15 holes finished, Park still had a chance, but bogeys on 16 and 17 sealed her fate, completing the tourney at three under. Park would say later that she's going to take whatever she can take from this and hopefully be a better player next year and in the coming years. I think that's well in hand at this point. Park earned $271,022 for her place, moving her career earnings up to over $600,000 for the year. Not a bad summer job for an 18-year-old fresh out of high school. Someone else who knows a little bit about getting paid to play, former South Star Shannon Box was in town as she and the U.S. team prepares for the 2007 World Cup. Boxy, as she is affectionately known, took some time out to hold her annual soccer academy this year held at North. Shannon Box kicks off the summer with her annual all-girls soccer academy at North Torrance High School. Box's academy started out with a bang, and not a preemptive 4th of July bang. Instead, these fireworks were just enlarged smiles after burying one deep in the net. They do a two-day, I mean a four-day camp, uh, but this year with the World Cup for the United States, we're, uh, I just didn't have that much time, so I'm doing a two-day camp. It's for girls only, ages 8 to 18. Uh, the group here is 8 to 13, so it's great. They're all about the same age, um, and mainly it's to work on their individual skills. Today we did 1v1 um, attacking, and uh, we did a lot of shooting, and then this afternoon is all about passing and receiving. And passing and receiving is not only an instrumental skill, it's not as easy as many would think as Box demonstrated an effective passing drill with her fellow coaches. Everything basically because Shannon Box is a very, very nice um, coach and all the, other one, all the others are really nice too. But as Shannon Box would most definitely point out, she didn't get to be as skilled as she is overnight. Rather it took years of practice and a lot of hard work. Yeah, you know, it's been a long road. Um, I'm almost 30. I've been on the national team for four years now. And, you know, I didn't have the same path that most players do. I was late getting on the national team. I was 26. But I wanted to play for the national team, and I just kept fighting and, and wanting it, and my dream was to play for them. So, you know, it's just my work ethic continued, and I'm just glad that I had the opportunity to do everything that I've done so far. And now I'm able to come here to these camps and to share my experience with them. And Box isn't lacking in experience, as she has won both an NCAA championship as a freshman at Notre Dame and an Olympic gold medal. You know, my biggest thing is, is we have all-girl coaches. It's an all-girls camp. For me, it's just the chance for me to be a positive role model. Um, I grew up and I had guys to look after. I mean, I wanted to, to emulate Michael Jordan and how far can I go with that? You know, I can't become him. And I think each girl, each one here can actually become me. They can become a national team player, a gold medalist in the Olympics. They can do that and they can see a product of it 
right here, right in the flesh, and they can talk to me like I'm a normal person. So, you know, I leave these camps and I, they're my best friends, these little kids, you know, I love it. They're, they're so much fun. I get to know them. They come back the next year. I can give them a good hug and say, hey. Just playing and having fun and seeing, being with the gold medalist soccer player. I think it's really cool just to play with somebody that's played in the major and like, like and played in really like big things and it's cool to and it's really fun. She makes everything really fun and it's just really fun and you can do whatever you want. In addition to having fun, the girls also learn valuable tips on how to become all-star soccer players. I get it because it's fun and you get to like, you, it's it's different because you get to use your feet and you get, it's more about technical and it has lots of fun and exciting things like when you first, your first goal or something is really exciting. Owen also points out that North Torrance has the best field for soccer. I like the one here better because it's like, it doesn't have as much dirt and everything. Like the other one had dirt and got in your eyes and everything. Just wasn't that good. Box also likes North because even though she went to South, she likes the idea of attracting kids from different areas. Really, you know, I'm a South High alum, but um, I normally would like to use South, but you know what, North High is great too. It's just, a, it's the idea of being in the South Bay. Um, I feel like I'm a product of the South Bay, not just South Torrance. Uh, so to be able to go to different schools uh, is a great opportunity to just, you know, get North Torrance on the map, get South Torrance on the map, um, and, and to spread it around so that you get a bunch of kids from a different area. Speaking of area, Box will be viewing lots of different areas as she prepares for the World Cup this fall. From Boxy's Field of Dreams, I'm Jeff Larson for the Sports Desk. Thanks, Jeff. Shannon is a defensive midfielder for the U.S. national team. She's on the road to recovery after tearing her ACL and MCL last year. Box was a FIFA World All-Star in 2003, second runner-up for FIFA Player of the Year in 2005, was part of the 1995 Notre Dame National Championship Team, 2004 Olympic gold medal team, and is the first U.S. woman to score in her first three international games. School may be out, but that does not mean there isn't any news coming from the prep ranks. Three-year head coach Mario Trutanic Jr., who helped South Torrance become one of the most improved girls basketball programs in the Southland over the last three seasons, has accepted a position as director of operations for women's basketball at Long Beach State. Before coaching at South, Trutanic coached at Marymount Crossroads and St. Bernard's High School the past three seasons. South has gone from middle of the pack to top of the heap. In Trutanic's first year, the Spartans finished 17-12, and 4-6 and in Bay League play. 05-06, South took a magical journey to the CIF Championship game and last year tied the school's record for most wins in a season with 25. All in all, under Trutanic, the Spartans were 67-27 and, and a Southern Section Divisional runner-up in 2006. Two former players under Trutanic have gone on to play college ball, Catherine Cho at the University of Hawaii and Shannon Gutierrez at Cal Poly Pomona. South Torrance officials are actively looking for a coach and when one is selected, you can be sure the sports desk will be there to fill you in on the details. On the prep scene, some of some CIF honors were handed out. Making the first team is Bishop Montgomery, senior setter Sean Fleming. Fleming is also a first team All Delray League performer as well. Fleming's teammates, opposite side hitter James Dunn and outside hitter Matt Guerrero, made second and third team All CIF respectively. Both were first team All Delray selections as well. In golf, Bishop Montgomery's Ryan Chan followed up his Camino Real League individual title with a, an appearance in the CIF Southern Section Individual Championship Tournament. Chan was named league's most valuable player. North Torrance senior Ryan Takasuji was named Ocean League Player of the Year. There's still a lot more to come. This is the Sports Desk. <laughs> The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. 
It takes a man to be a dad. I heard about this company dumping toxins in local rivers, and I called their executives to say stop. But they were too busy counting profits while the rivers are being destroyed, birds and fish are dying, and the local kids are getting cancer. So I organized a huge protest, and we actually got the company shut down. But now half the town's unemployed, and the kids are twice as sick since they can't get health care, since their parents lost the insurance they had when they worked for the company who dumped all the toxins in the first place. Jackie Robinson once said a person's life is only as significant as the impact it has on another life. The true meaning of this quote could not be symbolized better than with the Kim Blankenship Memorial Scholarship Fund. Kim Blankenship is considered arguably the greatest woman athlete in Torrance High history. Over her four years as a tartar, she earned 12 varsity letters in volleyball, soccer, and track. In 1992, Blankenship was the state player of the year in soccer. After graduating, Blankenship took her volleyball game to Loyola Marymount University, leading LMU to three West Coast Conference titles and earning the 1995 WCC Defensive Player of the Year and the 1996 Co-Player of the Year. This past January, Blankenship was inducted into the LMU Hall of Fame. Two days after her 31st birthday, Blankenship died of a heart attack last October. I had no idea how talented she was, and how many lives that she'd touched through volleyball, through football, through her Nike football camps, and through student sports. The, the, um, there was probably, I don't know how many thousands of people at her funeral, and just, it went on and on and on. And now we've got a scholarship fund for her. Whoever received the scholarship, female, three-sport athlete, tenacious, vivacious, and to emulate Kim. You try to find those qualities that she embodied in terms of athletic dominance, sweetness. You can't be as good as the original, but you look for the kids that have just the qualities of being involved, of being leaders in their own way. You know, they're on student councils, they're in youth groups, they're competing in more than one sport, which you know, in the, in this decade, is not something that is common. So these kids were all two to three sport athletes. Uh, they excelled in their sports. Uh, and they were involved in their community. The four winners of the Kim Blankenship Scholarship, representing the four of Torrance Public Schools from South, Jamie Tribble, competed in cross country and soccer at the varsity level for four years, as well as track for three. Rachel Lyons out of Torrance was a cross country soccer and track participant, carried a 4.72 GPA, and was the class's valedictorian. North's Lonnie Agsalud competed in tennis and basketball, and West's Stephanie Hall, who competed in soccer and softball. It's very honoring. I was actually, my, our athletic director called me up and told me he was going to put me up for it. And I was actually surprised because there's a lot of good athletes out there, and it's just an honor. My government teacher was friends with her. She went to Torrance High with her and stuff like that. And she just kept like raving about how she was such a good athlete and she was like the most popular person, like everyone liked her and all that stuff. So I felt like um, I couldn't live up to that, but I felt pretty honored to be able to get the scholarship in her name. Oxlude will play tennis at Cal State Fullerton next year, but even more important is the fact that she'll be the first person in her family to attend college. Kim touched tons of lives uh, and uh, we're just looking forward to keeping her name alive. And even with Blankenship's passing, it looks like she will continue to touch people's lives for years to come. If you'd like to donate to the Blankenship Scholarship, you can send a check to Kim Blankenship Memorial Scholarship, 107 North Ray, no, North Road, PMB 223, Newberry Park, California, 91320. Please make checks payable to the Kim Blankenship Memorial Scholarship. You can also email the scholarship for more information. Their email address is natjo, the number 99, at hotmail.com. The Torrance High boys volleyball team also raised $1,500 during the season for the scholarship. The fundraisers hope to reach beyond Torrance in the upcoming years, helping more high school athletes go to college. The 4th of July is truly summer's way of announcing itself to America, but besides the Independence Day celebration at Wilson Park, 
that will be on for the 27th year. The Department of Parks and Recreation held their annual summer kickoff to ring in the numerous activities that are scheduled for the season. The Parks and Rec crew are stacked with things to do this summer as they refer to activities from the womb to the tomb. You can go to the teen center to find out about their new babysitting class or day camps to see what options are available for youth or the plunge to find out about all of the swim opportunities or the green team members at the various work sites. There's always the Torn Symphony concert in the park on August 26th at Wilson Park and that's just the tip of the iceberg. Over 2,500 kids play basketball at Torrance with eight or 900 hitting the roller hockey rink. 400,000 visit the Cultural Arts Center annually and over 25,000 will hit up Wilson Park for the fourth. The keynote speaker for the kickoff is former USC head coach and current Philadelphia 76ers assistant coach Henry Bibby, who has a basketball camp in Torrance that runs from July 9th through the 13th. Well, you know, I'm here to, to talk briefly about uh, community awareness, that the growth of, of kids and youth in our community, and how important it is for adults to be more involved in the community service to give our young people direction in where they need to go in life and hopefully not to make the same mistakes that we made. Some out there may.